Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I'm Aisha Salihu. Comptroller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohamed Babandede, says some immigration officers are compromising national security by collecting bribes from foreigners to allow them stay illegally. Babandede said this in Katsina, where he is engaging traditional rulers to detect foreigners coming in and out of the country without travel documents. President Muhammad Buhari has directed the National Salaries and Wages Commission to come up with revised salary and allowances for police officers. Buhari, represented by the Minister of Police Affairs, Muhammad Megeri Dingyadi, said this in Kano during the passing out parade of 418 officers of the 3rd Regular Coast Cadet of the Nigerian Police Academy, Wadil Kano. The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, says it is set to resume strike in Kaduna State. NLC President Ayuba Wabba told journalists in Abuja after an emergency National Executive Council meeting of the union that all affiliate trade unions have been notified. Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and the Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria have agreed to distribute 27,000 metric tons of rice paddies directly to millers nationwide from Thursday. This move is to eliminate the cost associated with middlemen which impacts the cost of rice in the country. In business, oil prices fall slightly as hope for recovery of demands in the United States and Europe is raised. This is coming as Nigeria nears clock in 50 years as member of Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. On the foreign scene, United States President Joe Biden has suffered the first defeat in the Senate as his election reform bill is blocked by Republican Party senators. The bill seeking to make it easy for Americans to vote is deadlocked 50-50 along party lines. 60 votes majority is required to advance, the, advance any legislation. And that wraps up the news summary on this hour. Join us later for the news update. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Trust TV News. I'm Aisha Saliu. Thanks for watching.